Shades of Hope, Happy Sabbath, and welcome to another exciting episode of Psychic! Today, we are going to explore another concept, and that is saying sorry. Saying sorry can sometimes be difficult because it means admitting that we made a mistake or hurt someone's feelings. This can make us feel embarrassed or uncomfortable. We might worry that the other person will be angry with us or he or he won't forgive us. Sometimes we might even feel stubborn and think that we don't need to apologize. But there is a pressing reason why we need to say sorry and we will use science to help us understand this concept. For this experiment, we need the following. One balloon, hot water, ice cubes, one plastic bottle, and two containers. Now that the materials are ready, let's get started! Step 1. Let's place the balloon over the mouth of the plastic bottle. I already have one, but I'm going to show you how to do it. You, first, you stretch the balloon like this. Step 2, fill one container with ice cube. Step 3, fill another container with hot water. This experiment will only work if you have boiling hot water and freezing cold water. Before we go to the last step, I have a question. What do you think will happen to the balloon if we put the bottle into the hot water? Are you ready? And what do you think will happen to the balloon if we put the bottle into the ice cubes or the water with ice? Uh, are you ready for the big reveal? I think this is going to be fun, revealing your answers. <laughs> to be sure, we'll see if your guesses are actually correct. Are you sure with your answers? Very good. So step four. For the last step, we place the bottle into a container with hot water and observe what happens to the balloon. Watch closely. I'm doing this slowly. Look at that. The balloon went up because of the hot water. The balloon went up. What if we remove it? It's still there. Look at that. See? This is the result of the hot water. Now, let's move a bottle to the container with ice cubes and again observe a balloon. Okay, I think this is good enough. The balloon went down! What just happened? According to Learning for Kids, when the air inside the plastic bottle it's warm, it expands, it expands, and rises, and needs more space. Therefore, it stretches out the balloon. Look, the neck is bigger, right? When the bottle is transferred to the icy cold water, the air is cool. It contracts and needs less space. Look at that! So the balloon deflates. The mass of air remains constant inside the bottle. So this shows that warm air requires more space and is less dense than cool air. Just as a balloon responds to the hot and cold air, we can respond to our actions. When we do something wrong and we don't say sorry, it's like the balloon deflating. But when we say sorry and seek peace, it's like the balloon inflating again. Just like that. Psalm 34, 14 says, Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. So, kid of hope, remember, when we make a mistake, it's important to say sorry and seek peace. This not only lifts us up, but also lifts Jesus up. And that's the coolest science experiment of all. I hope you learned something fun and important from our experiment today. Do this experiment at home and remember the lesson that comes with it. Once more, this is Yuan and see you next time here on Psych!